India has issued a no time warning for a major Indian Air Force exercise near the southern sector of the India-Pakistan international border in Rajasthan from 7th June to 9.30 pm on 8 June, that will feature a range of advanced air assets, including frontline fighter jets such as Rafale Su-30 and Mirage 2000. Latest reports indicate that the Indian BrahMos missile strike at Pakistan's Bolari Air Base resulted in the destruction of a hangar that destroyed sub-2000 Awax aircraft with crew, and also four fighter jets, in which three were F-16 aircraft recently acquired from Jordan. Pakistan has claimed that a satellite imagery shows a damaged Su-30 aircraft and a damaged area at the Adampur Air Base, which is actually a MiG-29 aircraft undergoing maintenance, and the area mentioned as damaged is an engine testing area. Satellite imagery shows that Chinese HQ-9 system was also deployed at Pakistan's Walton Airport, that failed to intercept even the Israeli origin Harup drones of Indian Air Force. The first image of ATAG's howitzers operationally deployed in Armenia has emerged on social media. The development of DRDO's high-power microwave system is at an advanced stage, and will be inducted within 18 months, that will improve India's anti-drone capability significantly. The Indian Army has initiated the integration of 16 feet by 9 feet anti-drone wire mesh cope cages on its fleet of logistics vehicles. After Indian Air Force targeted 12 Pakistani air bases and nearly 30 military installations across Pakistan, a Pakistani delegation has been actively lobbying the United States administration to secure advanced American radar and air defense systems. Chinese social media platforms are abuzz with criticism and skepticism following reports that the Chinese government may supply the J-35A stealth fighter to Pakistan, despite the aircraft not yet being inducted into the Chinese Air Force or Navy. Chennai-based Big Bang Boom Solutions has unveiled its Snidario Aqua Tether, which is a non-lethal vessel immobilization system for naval and coast guard operations. A compelling new image has emerged online, that provides the clearest look at China's J-36 6th-generation stealth aircraft, that shows a dual cockpit layout, and three ventral weapons bays. Armored vehicles Nigam Limited have started modifying the BMP-2 turrets, for the upgrade of 693 BMP-2 vehicles to BMP-2M standard, that incorporates crucial enhancements such as night fighting capability, gunner's primary sight commander's panoramic sight, and a fire control system with automatic target tracking. The Tejas Mark II fighter jet is on track for its first prototype rollout by November 2025, and first flight by April 2026. Officials have said that the frontal radar cross-section of Tejas Mark II will be one-fourth that of the Tejas Mark I, and that the indigenous content will exceed 82% initially, and will surpass 90% with localized production of F-414 engine. The DRDO chief has said, that the Aeronautical Development Agency will finalize the production partner for the AMCA within the next six months. The selection process involves a competitive public-private partnership model, that has sparked intense debate over the roles of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and private industry giants like Tata and Larson and Tubro. The DRDO chief has said, that the project Kusar surface-to-air missile system is aligned with the capabilities of the Russian S-500 system, and will also lay the foundation for even more advanced capabilities in future phases. The maiden test of its first M1 interceptor will take place in 2025, and the first prototype with three interceptors will be completed within 12 to 18 months, and the system is slated for induction into the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy by 2028. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.